What's going on guys, Sean Guts here back with another video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to zero gap the X Evo trimmer from Gamer. Now when we zero gap this, this should work the same on the X Evo or the regular Evo, as long as you're using the blade that you guys can see here. If you wanna see how to gap the other blade that comes with the X Evo, watch my wall detailer video because it is the same type of blade that you can swap out for this. All right guys, so on the X Evo, we have two screws to take off right here to get to the bottom of the blade and then we can adjust it. You guys see this spring was pushing again, so as I took the screws off, it pushed the blade off, and that's okay. I'll show you guys how to put that back on and push these back down. Go ahead and clean the blades off, guys. I just kind of hold them in my hand and brush them like this. Go ahead and get the hair off. While we're here, we might as well go ahead and clean them off and make sure they're good and tuned up and ready to go. Now you guys see this black piece underneath. I know the whole thing's black, but this black rectangle is actually what sits inside this groove and allows the trimmer to go back and forth. So when we adjust these two screws, it's gonna allow us to move that on that black piece and set it a little bit more zero gapped. Now these screws are super small, so I have a small screwdriver bit. I'm gonna go in here by hand and just loosen these up slightly. All we need to do is be able to move this a little bit. We don't want it super loose. And you guys see, now we can move that around. So now we've placed it on the blade and you guys see, I have it pushed down to where I pushed it this way and you guys can see it is very not gapped. So we'll bust out the mirror, give us a hard surface to work on. Now I'm gonna place it on the mirror, press it all the way down. That's gonna be zero gap, guys. Now you know I like to tilt it slightly. That is going to push the blade just a barely away. Now we're gonna hold it snug and come in here and tighten these screws down. After you tighten the screws, always double check. I just kind of look down at both ways and you guys can see this is zero gap. If you guys don't want it that close, loosen the screws, move it down slightly and tighten them again. And again, guys, always make sure you're double checking before you put it all back together. Now guys, we have these two springs and you guys can see in the blade, we have some grooves here. So we just want to line them up. So guys, I'll just put one in and then you can see I'm able to push it over until they're both in. Now we put our steel blade on top and tighten it down. Now we have it put back together, guys. We will just throw the screws in, snug it down, and it's good to go. All right, so you guys can see it is good to go. As always, I'm gonna test it on myself. Make sure it's cutting, but it's not too sharp, and it feels good. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, smash that thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment and let me know if there's any other equipment and things like this that you guys want me to show you how to do. Make sure you guys subscribe if you like content like this. I'm always dropping stuff like this. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you next time.